Dear Jay, Jay Valdez, uh, when I think of you, I don't know what to say, you know, I have so much gratitude. You may not have known of the, you know, the magnitude of your gratitude, of your impact uh, towards me. Alone in the Philippines, you were there for me among the one or two very few people, you know, that have truly been there. And I have nothing but gratitude. It's a small world and we don't know tomorrow. There will be times when I can express this gratitude and I'm looking forward to those times. By Jehovah's grace, I'm hoping for a vindication and a way, a time when these battles are over and I have a certain level of stability. I'm your boy Terry and that is a constant. Uh, uh, please overlook the times when I may have appeared in the wrong or, you know, anyway. You know my stories and these stories and my bottles. I implore you to please come to my aid. I want to set up an office in the Philippines. I think we've discussed something like that and the dire times I'm in at this moment. I really need your help. I gave you an entire publication. Although it's not just a fundraiser, it's an entire blueprint. Uh, something I want the world, entire world to read and be impacted by. Uh, I know it's a very lengthy read. But buy our time to read this publication it's in, a, in, in its entirety because I've kept encoded and it's a gift to you um, and I'm hoping that you can buy our time on my behalf to dig and reach out to me. Uh, but if you're not able to read out the publication in these times, please go to the bottom and you'll see the part of the publication that talks about the fundraiser. Anyway, I want to set up a macro hard office in the Philippines near my house. It's to gather people, uh, programmers, uh, graphic designers and everything uh, so that I can continue my movement while finding rehabilitation. Uh, if you read the publication, you'll see that things are not like before. Uh, my enterprises are set, but they are not developed up to uh, a standard where they can begin to create revenue. Revenue is secondary, but these are dire times. I need to take care of my dad who is ill and I'm alone here. There are no options. Even sustenance is not possible with a secular job in these times. It's very different now. Please come to my aid. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size of your donation. It's more about the the act. Receiving is an art. I'm ready to receive. Uh, I just need to draw inspiration from your effort and use that to push forward. I'm looking forward to a time where there there will be a vindication that we can all. Have merry times. Please remember the histories and stories, the moments you have shared as brothers. You are among the few people I can turn to. I'm going to be reaching out to 1,000 people at the very least, doing videos like this. Uh, some of them will be strangers. Anyway, I just wanted to be documented that I asked help. I turned to Kima to help once again, and you are among the people I'm bound to turn to, as you are my brother and your being. Uh, also share this with your wife, you know, convince and be convinced about your help towards me, you know, with reach, with whoever, uh, because I really need help. Speaking of my health, you saw me this, uh, a period ago, there's so much I cannot say about the state of my health, but I am not fine. And I don't have the ability of, you know, exhibiting exaggeration, I am not fine. This is true. And it is really critical. Please help me. Uh, this is what I'll say for now. Your boy Terry is a constant. I'm always going to be there. Um, thank you once again uh, for everything. Jay Valdez, thank you very much.